look at the weather constantly. We assess, we reassess, we check all the various websites. The main one that we use is Environment Canada. So our policies state that if it's minus 40, either with or without the wind chill, we do not run the buses. Uh, and that's vitally important to know. Some people use the weather network, some people use other apps and say, well, it's only minus 30 or it's, we go by Environment Canada and that's the one we use. So when we make a decision, we look at any approaching storms, any systems that may impact transportation, i.e. freezing rain, a large snowstorm coming in and you know dropping 20 centimeters, etc. We have to look out for the safety of the students and the drivers on, and other road users. So we reevaluate as it goes along. So if a system is approaching, we assess it, we reassess it, and we try and make a decision based on facts and we try and make it as early as possible. For climb days to SN12, were you calling SN12? Yes, can I just... Dispatch operates from 6.30 a.m. in the morning until 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And typically that's to cover the first buses that are on the road. Um, if we have any mechanical issues, we can then look at uh, obtaining a spare bus. We can do updates to the website as early as possible so parents are informed. And the same at the evening. Until the last bus is empty, you know, we, we man that dispatch. We have a parent hotline. So should a student go astray somewhere, that parent can get, get through to us on that hotline. It's answered immediately. I mean, the weather changes here in Alberta very, very quickly. And to be out in the winter in a hoodie is not really protection for the student. These buses uh, lose the heat very, very quickly. So when we have a bus breakdown, we endeavor to get that bu a spare bus out to that broken down bus as soon as possible. In some cases, it may take 30 minutes. In that 30 minutes, that bus will cool down dramatically. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.